in flashes, he cocoons him afterwards. Two, he gets low enough that they can kill him during the cocoon duration. And we have some... Wow. Snake is going to get killed. Whistle follows the flash. Made the trade. The Emperor's Divide is still there. They do land the Scatter of the Week. There's the Emperor's Divide. One more auto attack will do it. But no, he's not able to get oh. it. Oh, guys. Scout survives. I just want a great game five. That's all I want out of this we, one at this oh, stage. Marcia. Yeah, Gao oh. jumps in. Look at that. That is just... The lead that he would usually have. Ackerman not finding a good engagement here. The room prison goes down. He's going to break it with that crowd control reduction. And big bang boom. The Dyrus comes up big on one. I have never seen Dyrus that emotional after Spirit, but you're coming out. There's the Ragnarok. Niski shuffles forward. And the trade goes in. Yankos! 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 That is disgusting! That is not allowed! In the late game, or in the mid to late game, as items come together, he's going to tip it all in. has a reason. Oh! I'm Shox and welcome back to Ultimate List, the home of Lee Sports' craziest and most legendary moments of all time. Today we're taking a closer look at Solo Kills, one of the simplest yet most captivating plays in League of Legends. Continuing to get more and more items, one member gets the Elder Drake. This is, of course, is not ideal for Sunik. Oh, or but can Showmaker shot save wave. it? Flash is not available for Showmaker, continues to step forward. One Fung's Mystic Shots don't find the targets. He's shut down! Solo kill by Showmaker! Whether you're a carry in lane, a jungler roaming the map, or even a support, solo kills let players assert their dominance over opponents while also showcasing their talents to the world. And over the years, we've witnessed a bunch of unbelievable solo kills in pro play, which have become immortalized as some of the game's most epic moments of all time. And in honor of those legendary plays, here are, in no particular order, the five greatest solo kills in LOL Esports history. The 2020 LPL Summer Split was the season of Knight, who led Top Esports to their first ever championship as the league MVP. But the most impressive part of Knight's summer were all the crazy plays he made throughout the split. And one of, if not Knight's best play of the split came in week 7, when he annihilated three members of Victory 5 by himself. Wide birth of a bunch of different... Oh, BP God. You don't survive this on BP God. That's a big scary snake. And you know what? Knight is going to be in a 1v3 here. But I'm thinking I might even favor Knight for this one. Stunned up. And there's the ulti as well. He doesn't quite have the damage to bring down the bear. Oh yes, he does. God. And he's got a lifesteal to boot as well. Oh, no. Burning down the quote. No way. Alone in V5 jungle, Knight began his onslaught by mowing down Karma with his Q and E. V5 tried to find a return kill, investing Biu Biu's TP for a two-man collapse, but Knight's fingers were too fast, taking down Volibear and Renekton alone, completing the outplay with his petrifying gaze. Our next solo kill comes all the way from the 2014 World Championship, where European legend Xpeke flexed his Zen mechanics against tournament favorites Samsung Blue. A battle of assassins, Blue's mid laner Dade earned himself an early lead, finding two kills out of lane. But that lead wasn't enough to take down Xpeke, who turned around Dade's surprise engage, creating one of the World Championship's greatest plays ever. Dade's gone. Oh, he's Shadow use fertilizer. It's all about fighting fights. Deathmon going down, but is it going to be enough? Dade is going to be able to. Oh, whoa! Xpeke, oh, the ignite! Silenced by Dare to start off the fight, Xpeke ulted immediately after the debuff faded to avoid Talon's Shadow Assault. Xpeke then landed some extra damage before flashing away to safety, letting his shurikens and deathmark finish Talon off. Jumping up a year to 2015, we have a solo kill by Xpeke's mid lane successor, Febivin. It's hard enough as a rookie to join such a large organization like Fnatic, but also replacing a star like Xpeke put some lofty expectations on Febivin's shoulders. And Febivin crushed those expectations, winning his debut split, earning him and Fnatic a spot at the inaugural mid-season Invitational. But Febivin didn't stop there. Against SKT in the MSI semifinals, Febivin forced the world to take notice of him, finding back-to-back -back solo kills against none other than the god of mid lane himself, Faker. The visits into the jungle not as fruitful. And there's the death mark coming in. And will it be enough? The pop and the ignites! Febivin but that one under one. V1's Faker. An aggressive pick making team. Faker eats two shurikens. The knockup is interrupted as Febivin materializes. Ignite oh. plus one more. That is two 1v1s in a game. Although SKT ultimately won the series, Faker made sure to throw some serious praise at the Fnatic rookie after the match. Uh, I think he's a player with a really high potential. Um, 
his laning skills wasn't the best, but his team fights and his like movements and other like skill shots were really high class. All right, well, he'll be very happy to hear that. Throughout the history of the LCS, we've seen some incredible Azir players enter the league like Bjergsen, Jensen, and Power of Evil. But the LCS's most iconic Azir has to be Phoenix, whose identity as a pro is forever tied to the champion. Because back in the 2015 summer split, Phoenix pulled off one of the LCS's most legendary plays with the Emperor of Shirima. Meganard, everyone into the wall, but even though he didn't, every flash on people that escaped was burned. And they want Phoenix in this turret. Oh boy. He's pretty strong though. What's he gonna do? Oh! Oh, he oh, got, got two! two. He's, He's gonna get a triple Phoenix. kill! A quadra kill! An amazing oh. play by Phoenix on his ear! Collapsed on by four members of CLG, Phoenix landed some poke with his sand soldiers before finding a devastating three-man Emperor's Divide, giving his teammates the go-ahead to take Baron and snowball the game. My only question is, who was more hyped up after that play? Phoenix or his teammates? What's he gonna do? Oh! Oh, oh my god, Phoenix! Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! And finally, for Twitter's viewer-voted play, we have the solo kill you've all been waiting for. It's the play that defined the career of League of Legends' greatest player of all time, Faker. Game 5 of the 2013 OGN Champions Summer Finals saw Faker just one win away from beating KT Rollstar Bullets and winning his first title ever. All the young mid laner had to do was take down Ryu in a Zed Mirror match and the trophy was his. And that's exactly what Faker did, completely taking over the game as the Shadow Assassin. And when Ryu Zed tried to shut him down late into the game, Faker became a legend, making LOL Esports history. I know, right? I'm like, even though I only have a mat on the floor, I think he's in the bed. Oh, Faker may be in trouble here, Death Mark tries to clean it up for Ryu. Oh, look at the class, look at the moves! Faker, what was that?! Faker with a huge play, the QSS! I can't believe it! I'm Shox, and unfortunately we've come to the end of this week's episode of Ultimate List. But did we forget a solo kill or do you have any ideas for future episodes? Let us know in the comments down below or over on Twitter at LolEsports. Later! Later!